Nope. How about now? Nope. How about oh? Broadcast of all podcast, drivecast, bitch. I'm riding down the road. I'm recording this shit. Listen to me now. I've got a show. I make it up as I go along. Cause you know it is the best place to be to get your games, reality, and news. And my views. Everything I'm saying right now is made up just like the show. If you don't like it, shut up and just go. There's lots of people that like when I talk about things and stuff and such. That's the way I get shit done in this life. You should try it once. Maybe you'll get a whole pile of friends. Hello, everybody. This is Mike from the Very Supreme Broadcast of Honor podcast. This is the Drivecast where I record myself driving in the car. It's a new feature that we have on the channel. I hope you enjoy. I hope that your day is going well. That opening theme song was by the very Supreme Broadcast of Honor. We are accepting submissions for theme songs, so send yours today. I am driving home from work. It's an hour and a half drive, so that gives me time to pump out, plump out, also pump out a half hour podcast every time I drive. That's two a day if I want it. I, I usually just save it up for the drive home keeps me entertained while I'm driving along. Um, I do not operate my mobile phone, which I'm recording on, while I'm driving. I simply pull over to start it. I actually start it before I leave. And then I shut it off um, after pulling over. I do not operate my device while I'm driving. So everything's safe. It's not in my hands. It's on my lap, which is obviously a great place to have a, a recording device. Thanks very much for tuning in. Uh, today's topic, I wanted to talk a little bit about SimCity and the SimCity debacle. SimCity is a game that I've been playing since I was very young. I would dare to say grade six, so I would have been about 12, so that would be 20 years ago or so. So the first SimCity was for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System as I remember it, and also on the PC. I believe I played the SNES version first. I hope it's okay to say SNES. And what happened was they... Um, oh, I forgot to mention, if you're sending in a opening theme song submission, please send that to tvsboh at gmail.com. And in the subject line, please put podcast opening theme submission. Anyway, back to the SNES. Um, I played it on the SNES and it was, I'm going to stop saying SNES because I have a feeling it's not appropriate to, to call it that. So on the SNES, I was playing it and it was the best game ever in the world and then when they, we finally figured out the cheat code because there was no internet back then, we, somebody, it was a rumor going around, they had to do a bunch of weird stuff and eventually one of the weird things actually was the cheat code to get like a million dollars and then you can make this amazing city. Anyway, it was a great game to play and I really enjoyed it. And then what happened was um, they kept making new games and they kept getting better and better and I eventually switched to being a PC gamer only. Um, and that, I, I just played it on every, I played every version of the game that they came out with on PC. So, uh, that being said, we come to today and they came out with SimCity 5 and it was a huge fucking disaster. Just server problems, always online problems, small city problems, uh, opening day problems where people couldn't get in for like weeks. When you finally got in you found out that your city was server specific. So if you went into a server, started a city, you left that, you came back later, that server was busy, you joined another server, but you had to start a whole new city because they were server specific. Very small towns, once, you, once you're finished, that fucking thing was small. And you're just like, okay, uh, I want to make this bigger, and you can't, and it's too small, and then you're stuck because, and then they, what they wanted you to do, the way they designed it, they wanted you to, to build another small city in a region, 
and make them interact with each other and you didn't know that at first so you just built this just a regular city uh, that should have been a specific type of city so then the next city making the region was like industry specific and then blah 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 inter inter whatever inter regional bullshit fucking stupid it was dumb idea and they fucked it up everything was messed up about it people raged and raged and raged and they f tried to fix some of the things apparently people who were smart knew that the di dynamics of the game weren't good I, I didn't get that from playing it because I'm, I'm not that, I didn't pay that much attention, but expert nerds were like, hey, uh, did you notice that the fucking cars were like not, they weren't routing properly, like realistic and all this stuff, and all the math was really cheap and crap. So, the CEO got fired over it, and I'm not sure whether it was at Maxis or EA, someone got fired over it and they they totally botched this and this game this is the fifth iteration this has been going for 20 years this game and they totally messed it up so um what they needed to do was to listen to the gamers at that point just fix what the gamers are saying is wrong and just really get on this shit so what they ended up doing was saying that it was impossible to fix a lot of the problems like always offline they said well that's impossible with the way we coded this game and bigger game maps which those are the two biggest thing game map size and uh, the always online bullshit which nobody likes ever anytime with any system and they went ahead and did it anyway thinking they were bigger than everything anyway um, so those are two biggest things and they said that both were impossible so they, they worked on all these other fixes they gave us um, anyone who bought the game Previous to the launch, I believe, or within the first week of the launch, got a a free game. So I took the free game. It wasn't a. I didn't really appreciate that because I didn't want to play a different game. I paid like seventy dollars for this Sim City game. I wanted my money's worth out of that game. That's a lot of money. It's a premium AAA title. You want your cash, and you want it now. So uh, basically, what I did was I took the free game because why wouldn't you? And I took like Need for Speed, something or other, which that game's gone to shit, might I add. So that's a whole other ball game. But they, that wasn't enough. I, like I, at first I'm like, okay, well I got a free game out of it. I could play it on the, a YouTube channel and maybe stream it or something. So at least there's that. It was sort of a, a, a quote unquote premium title. I would have to say some of them weren't, but some of them were. Anyway, regardless, um, you know, they did that to placate us and, and it worked for a little while. But I was just super pissed because I was bummed because I love SimCity so much. I love that game. I love it. I love SimCity. It's like, it was my favorite game. You get lost for hours and hours and hours just building this perfect huge map. Anyway, so after a while, everyone just stopped playing the game because it was stupid. You had to play online. People, you could make it so people could not access your stuff, but uh, it was just really weird with the regional stuff. I don't know, it, d it didn't really do it for me. And I was really pissed off that I could only do these little small little cities. So finally, they, um, they allowed for uh, people to today just today they they've finally allowed for people to um, to play offline uh, they announced that they're working on that rather they're doing a lot of testing people are going to be working on on the on everything for it so um, yeah that's that's that that's the update on sim city they've finally even though they say it was impossible with the coding they found a way and I think it's too little too late, personally. Like, offline was a huge deal. Like, that's a deal breaker, man. You can't force people to play online. Like, I hate that fucking model. It's so stupid. If I pay $70 for a game, that's it. That's all the money you're getting. I also don't play games you have to subscribe to or games that want you to pay more money to get premium items and shit. Sorry, if, you're, if, if it's free to play, then I can understand, like, having add-on items for people to pay for and like customize their characters and stuff not not to make them more powerful because that's bullshit too but if it's just like customization like 
different really cool outfits, haircuts, makeup, tattoos, whatever for your character, uh, special things. It does. It's just aesthetic. That's cool. Do that. Every game can do that. Have fun with that. Um, but if you, I'm paying seventy dollars for a game, I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not paying a subscription. Anyway, I'm getting off track. They have they have made it so that they're working on so you can play offline finally, and that's that. They should have done that from the start. The next problem they that they they say is impossible, which I I don't know if they'll tackle. But like I'm not going back. I'm not going to go back and play that game unless the map sizes are bigger. And I know that sounds like whining, but the game. When I, when I was playing the game, I was having fun. Whoa, the power just went off in the place I'm driving. That was creepy as shit. Actually, it was just the street lights. That is really weird. Nothing else around has the power off. Bizarre. Anyway, oh, they're back on. Crazy. So, they, um, they uh, need to work on that bigger maps. I'm sorry, but... The map size is so important in that game. Like, like I said, I was having fun. I was having a ton of fun. It was a really good game. I was like, yes, this is so cool. I love that. Oh, I'm just driving by a store, and someone just dropped their cell phone on the floor, and now they're checking it, looking pissed off. Uh, bummer. Anyway, um, this since this is a brand new show, there's going to be a lot of cool stuff. This, this show specifically is going to be less than half an hour because I, I got the idea for this show... Uh, while I was almost home, when I was almost home. So I pulled over, started the recording, and everything. Anyway, um, and I'm almost home now, so that it's not really going to work out to be a half hour this time, but it'll be sort of a cool little little show if I can figure out how to get off my phone. I'm pulling into an ATM to uh, drive through ATM to get some money, and there's like three or four cars, so we could talk some more. Anyway, um, I was playing the game, and I really liked it. It was a fun game. Everything was cool about it. Um, it was like SimCity, but they'd updated the graphics, and it was really cool the way they'd done everything. Like, the in-game stuff, they worked so hard on it, I really enjoyed it. But, all of a sudden, like, my, I was at the city limits. I built out completely, and there was no more room, and I'm just like, are you serious? The original game for Super Nintendo had more fucking room than this, than this game 20 years later. Don't give me that bullshit that you can't make a bigger map. Now, I understand that a bigger map maybe wasn't possible online. Like, the way that it's set up online with the regions and... I think the problem is the regions, right? Like, because um, because the regions were so small in, them, in and of themselves and the towns are so small in and of themselves, you, couldn't, you physically couldn't make the cities or towns bigger because they wouldn't start encroaching on other people's land, and it just, it wouldn't make any sense. So, I, I'm pissed about that, but I understand it. Um, the other thing they added, announced today was that they were going to include modding support. So, what I'm hoping is somebody, they'll release the offline, they'll release the modding abilities, and what will happen there is, that will allow for modders to make bigger map sizes offline at least. Online, I understand they won't be able to include a mod probably to make it a bigger map size, but if modders out there can make bigger map sizes for offline play, I will play that game again. Now, the people at EA and Maxis and all, and all that, they won't know that I'm playing the game. Um, they'll have no idea that I'm playing the game again because it'll be offline. So, really, they're not going to get any benefit like in their numbers or whatever by that chain of command, by that chain of command, by that chain of, of events, you know, like offline is enabled and then people um, make bigger map sizes. They, that won't really benefit them. Other than I will be actually playing their fucking game that I spent $70 on again. Um, maybe then that will coerce me to go online somehow. I don't know. And, and then they can benefit from showing their server numbers or whatever. Um, I feel bad for them, but they really flubbed this title. This is one of the biggest game fuck-ups of, of all time. It is. It's the number one, in my opinion, gaming fuck-up. Now, there's other ones that come close. You could say, like, um, uh, Duke Nukem 3D. Huge letdown. People wanted it for years. They said they were working on it. See, this is the problem. This is the number one thing. If you're a publisher of a game, if you're a writer of books, if you have a YouTube channel or Twitch or whatever, 
any, if you produce any sort of content at all, do not tell people you're releasing it until it's done. Honestly, that I've done it myself. Like I've, another thing you might not know about me is that I dabble with writing, I'm author, whatever. I've, I've written like one book that was like not even a book. It's, it's not even a novelette. Look up the, that, what that means. It's like very short. And it, you know what I did? I said it was part one of three. And now I don't want to write the other two parts. So I did release the one part on Amazon uh, books. Uh, I was proud of it. People enjoyed it. You know, I put it up there for the cheapest you could, which is 99 cents. Some people liked it, or everyone liked it. At least that's what they told me. And of course, your family and friends do tell you that they like it. Um, but I wasn't doing it to, to try to make a career out of it. I just always wanted to write a book, publish it, quote unquote, because it's self-published. Um, and then it's, a, it's something off the bucket list, and I did it. But the people are asking me, like, where's part two, where's part three? And I'm like, well, fuck, I don't. Now I'm into this YouTube thing and, and Twitch. I don't have time, and I'm working full time as well. I don't have time or energy to work on that. Like, I keep thinking about the sequel to the book. And I have some ideas, but I just don't really want, I can't commit to it. I don't have the time to sit down and do it. And even when I did have time, I didn't want to do it. So anyway, the point of all that is don't announce something unless it's concrete in the fact that it's already done or near completion to the point where you know it's going to be coming out. Just don't do that. Anyway, back on track. So Duke Nukem was was a horrible thing. You know, Half-Life 3, blah, 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 Valve time, all that shit. You know, Valve always says they're going to be releasing a game, and they never do. And people are pissed. They're like, oh, here's an update, here's an update. Um, you know, Dota 2, I play Dota 2 quite a bit now, and they they seem to be messing up a lot of their updates and 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 things like that. So anyway, uh, going back to SimCity, they've really kind of messed this up. Now they've announced offline is going to be available and modding support, but right now they're testing, 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 whatever. So what that means, they didn't give a date, they didn't give a, a time frame, they said it's in testing. Who knows if it'll ever happen. Again, if it does happen, the only way I'll play that game again is, is if it's offline and it has mod for bigger maps. Because they say it can't be done, they probably won't ever do it. Even though they said offline would never be done, they did it. They're doing it. So they say, um, but they screwed up. They probably took a huge bath. I'm, I like, because of the Sims, they, they haven't screwed up the Sims yet. And I think people keep pumping money into that. So that's keeping them alive. But if like Sim City was the only game they had, that would be the end of that franchise. Like, I don't, it wouldn't be the end of EA because they have so many different, um, outlets, but it would, might be the end of, uh, Maxis games or, uh, you know, any deviation of that so it'll be interesting that was the update today it was at sim city it was going to get modding and offline it just really oh it's my turn at the atm yes i get to i get to do atm stuff while doing a podcast how many people do that how many other people do that can you will you be able to hear my pin number as i'm doing this i don't know i don't know would you take my card please atm what the fuck's the problem I'm putting it in backwards. It's my problem. Anyway, um, I just need some cash. Give me some quick cash. So that's that. My my hopes is that they they do turn it around. What my recommendation to them was, and I commented right on their their main blog. I said, you know, you should just give up. Like this is before they started doing all these. They have a DLC coming out. Uh, no one's. I'm not buying that. I hope no one buys that. That's ridiculous. Um, but. Uh, what I hope happens is that what I told them they should do is um, just give up and start working on start working on SimCity 6 because this is this has been the biggest letdown uh, of any game ever. Just getting my cash money now. Bear with me. Give me my money, bitch. There we go. And we out. We out. So, um, yeah, that's that. That's that's my whole spiel about SimCity 5. I hope that uh, if you bought it, you feel satisfied. I know it's probably not the case. Maybe it is. Maybe you do. Uh, I'd like you to put some comments underneath wherever I decide to put this podcast. 
I haven't decided yet. It'll be more polished later. Again, this is just sort of a whimsical thing I've decided to start doing. Um, so I, I hope you'll put in the comments below wherever this is. What, you know, were you satisfied with SimCity 5? Do you feel that everything they've done to try to make up for the horrible mistakes they made? You know, I'm talking, it's a game. I understand it's a game, horrible mistake. It's not life and death. Well, it could have been for some people who were working there. They got fired maybe, but, um, you know, put in the comments below or above. I don't know. Wherever the comments are for this podcast. Would you get off the road? I hate when people walk on the road when the sidewalk is perfectly clear. Douche. Douche. Speed bumps. So put some comments in about SimCity 5, how you feel about it. Will you, are you still playing? Will you play coming up um, if they have offline? Will you play if they have mod support only? If you, Will you play if they have bigger map sizes? Um, did you buy it? Did you not buy it? Why or why not? Do you feel horribly, you know, hard done by by what they did um, with SimCity 5? So... Your opinions, let's see them in the comments. Also, in the comments, I'd like to see if you enjoyed this this podcast. If you'd like to see, or I guess hear more. Because <laughs> you're not seeing me. Good thing, too, because I got my pants off. What? Um, so we'll see you. You won't. I won't see you, but you'll hear me. And maybe, maybe not. But hopefully you'll hear me next time on the very supreme broadcast of Honor Podcast, Drivecast. Mike out. Bye-bye. The podcast is over, and I was glad that you were here. If you ever need a pick-me-up, just send us a tweet. Or watch our videos or live stream. Or just sing this song. I like burritos, I like burritos, I like burritos, man. I like burritos, I like burritos, that's the end of the podcast now. This is Mike from the Very Supreme Broadcast of Honor. I hope you enjoyed the video you just watched. We put a lot of time and effort and special considerations into making it for you. Please like and favorite this video and subscribe, push the subscribe button if you haven't pushed the subscribe button before. If you already have, thank you. Uh, We give you extreme low fives and uh, hope you have a great day. Enjoy.